Welcome to this tutorial on the Federally Qualified Health Center's FQHC reimbursement. The information given in this training is correct as of the date of this recording. The most current information contained in this presentation can be found on the Noridia Medicare website and the CMS website at the links listed on this slide. All FQHCs were transitioned to the Prospective Payment System, PPS, by December 2015 and are paid based on the final PPS rate determined for the year. The current FQHC PPS base rate for 2023 is $187.19. This rate is updated annually. The 2023 base payment rate reflects a 3.9% increase above the 2022 base payment rate of $180.16. The PPS base rates are adjusted for each FQHC based on its location by the FQHC Geographic Adjustment Factor, GAF. The FQHC's PPS payment rate is the PPS base rate multiplied by the FQHC GAF for the location where the service is furnished. Since the FQHC GAF is based on where the services are furnished, the FQHC payment rate may differ among FQHC sites within the same organization. To determine an adjusted PPS rate, a facility would multiply the base rate for the year the services were rendered in times the FQHC GAF for the area where the services were furnished. The FQC GAF values are posted on the CMS website. The FQC GAFs are adapted from the values used from the physician fee schedule and are updated annually. PPS base rate will increase either by the percent increase in the FQC Market Basket Index or the Medicare Economic Index, MEI. Rate was determined by dividing the allowable costs by total visits. The PPS payment rate will be adjusted by a factor of 1.3416 when a FQHC furnishes care to a patient who is a new patient to the FQHC. A new patient is someone who has not received any Medicare-covered professional health services, medical or mental health, from any site within the FQHC organization or from any practitioner within the FQHC organization within the past three years from the date of service. Additionally, the PPS payment rate is adjusted by the factor of 1.3416 when an FQHC furnishes an initial preventive physical examination, IPPE, or an annual wellness visit, AWV. These adjustments do not apply to the grandfather tribal FQHCs. FQHCs are required to use G payment codes to bill for the FQHC visit. FQHCs set their own charges for services they provide and determine which services are included in the bundle of services associated with each FQHC G code. The FQC should maintain records of the services included in each FQC G code and the charges associated with the service at the time the service was furnished. Charges for the specific services rendered must be uniform for all patients. In addition to reporting these specific payment codes, the FQCs must continue to report detailed HCPCS coding on the claim to describe all of the services that occurred during the encounter. All the services lines must be reported with their associated charges. However, the payment will be lesser of the FQC's charges on the payment codes or the PPS rate. To receive payments for the qualified services, HCPCS coding is required on all claims, but payment will not be made on the qualifying visit codes. CMS established five specific payment codes to be used by FQC submitting claims on their PPS. The following HCPCS codes must be reported on FQC PPS claims. G0466 for new patient visit. G0467 for established patient, G0468 for IPPE or AWV visit, G0469 for a new patient mental health visit, and G0470 for an established mental health visit. FQAC G codes describe the type of patients and not the services provided. Report the revenue code 052X or 0519 for HECPICS G0466, G0467, and G0468. Report revenue code 0900 and 0519 for HECPICS G0469 and G0470. Under the PPS, FQCs would bill Medicare using these specific payment codes that correspond to the type of FQC visits that qualifies the encounter for Medicare payment according to all of Medicare approved regulations. Each of these specific payment codes will also correspond to the appropriate PPS rates. For example, if G0468 is billed, the system will review the claim and pay the lesser of the charge on the payment code or it will pay the base rate times the GAF 
times the new patient adjustment factor. Payment is based on the lesser of the FQC's charge for payment code or the adjusted PPS rate. Under PPS, CMS allows an exception to the single payment per day when an illness or injury occurs subsequent to a visit. For instance, a patient has a billable visit in the morning, and in the afternoon, they fall and go back to the FQC to have their injury treated. In this situation, the FQC can bill for two visits on the same patient on the same day. For second visit for a subsequent illness or injury is submitted with a modifier 59. CMS does not allow separate billing for mental health or medical encounter on the same day as an IPPE or AWV encounter under PPS. Proper reporting of all services rendered on the same day must be submitted on one claim, otherwise will be rejected. Under PPS, coinsurance will generally be 20% of the lesser of the actual charge on the payment codes or PPS rate. Medicare does waive coinsurance for certain preventive services and is applicable to FQHCs. FQHC claims that consist solely of preventive services that are exempt from beneficiary coinsurance will be paid at 100% of the lesser of the provider's charges on the G-code or the PPS rate. For claims with a mix of preventive and non-preventive services, the coinsurance will be carved out of the total payment and coinsurance will not be applied to the preventive services. The FQC PPS page has numerous resources providers can access to get more information on the PPS transition. Publication 100-4, the Medicare Claims Processing Manual, contains billing instructions for FQCs in Chapter 9. Publication 100-2, the Medicare Benefit Policy Manual, contains information about the types of services covered in an FQHC in Chapter 13. The CMS websites include Federally Qualified Health Center Fact Sheet in the Medicare Learning Network MLN Publication section, and a variety of other information is in the Federally Qualified Health Center. New Viridian FQHC website are also provided on the links listed on the slide. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our tutorial. Continue your learning experience by referring to additional recordings available on the Noridian website or YouTube channel.